day guys today is day eight of the Ticino advent calendar and this is the way it's probably going to start every video for this until the 24th well 24th will be the last day but you'll see it the 25th on Christmas day but anyways um I'm looking for number eight I looked at it last night there it is it's Chaga Ashwagandha. Now, um, let's go ahead and read this. Keep calm, carry on, and put the kettle on. Chaga Ashwagandha to the rescue. Um, you guys that watch me, like, fill all the things and all that stuff, you know that I take Ashwagandha. It's good for lots of different things. But this one is a mushroom herbal tea. It's Chaga Ashwagandha butterscotch cream prebiotic acid free caffeine free and gluten free so that's what the package looks like and let's see it says chaga siberia's hill all wild mushroom complements roasted ramon seeds and chicory softened by heavy manoke by creamy butterscotch from india's restorative ashwagandha root so it's got caropods chicory root Ramon seed, dates, ashwagandha root, withania, some of 600 milligrams, so it tells you how many milligrams of ashwagandha, Indian sarsaparilla root, chaga extract, wild harvested, ananotis, oblicus, conch, and mycelium blend, 300 milligrams, and natural flavors. So that's what's in it. And what I was going to say is you guys that watch me feel all the things know that I take ashwagandha. It's good for different things like anxiety. Um, I was told that it's good for people with hypothyroidism, but it is not good for people with hyperthyroidism. I have hypo, so oh, I smell it. I can't say it's completely pleasant. It smells better here than here. It's got a medicinal smell. Oh, please don't taste like me medicine. Please don't. Because if it tastes like medicine, it'll be the first one I don't finish. I cannot take like cough syrup or something like that. Um, but the chaga is a mushroom. I don't, I, I guess I'm not gonna look it up today since it said it on here that it's a mushroom. I don't know, I may sit at my desk and look it up, but just to see what they're good for and what ashwagandha is good for, like, I mean, I know that I don't read y'all everything, but I read some of it. So, let's, I was going to say percolate, but I don't know about this one, the smell of it, it's putting me off a little bit. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be good. Maybe it won't be so bad once I get it mixed with the, you know, once it steeps. Yeah. Maybe it won't be so bad. The smell of it. Alright, so. Um. Got a load of clothes going. I've got one more that I know to wash today. I did the dishes last night. I told you guys I wasn't going to do it on camera because. I just didn't I I just didn't um one of the comments this morning was recommended a another supplement I can't think of what it is right now but I did save it in my Amazon store so I could um check it out it's a type of sulfur which my mama says she's allergic to sulfur I don't know though. I don't know much about it, but um, it's supposed to help with pain. She says it helps with her pain. So, may have to check that out or try that out. Not check it out. I've already checked it out some. But also, you guys know I'm still drinking my coffee. I'm not doing the teas to replace my coffee. I'm still drinking my coffee. Uh, I'm doing the teas because Val sent them to me and it's a fun experience. And also, I will know which ones that I do like in case I want to purchase them 
and have that as a coffee replacement sometimes if I choose to. Caffeine does not get to me. It does not bother me. As far as I know, I don't feel any different when I drink a cup of coffee, but I don't drink that much a day. I'm not like drinking a pot of coffee a day. I'm not drinking a lot. So um, today I have to make my creamer. I make it out of one can of sweetened condensed milk and then um, in a 32 ounce, I think it's 30, well, quart jar. One of the, these, because I washed it last night, to make sure it's clean. I know y'all probably see me doing that. <laughs> but anyway, in one of these, I will put this after I wash it. And then I will finish filling it up to about right here with half and half. And that's how I make my creamer every time I need it. Which is about once a week if I'm the only one using it. So, I have had to do it in less than seven days. But it's usually just once every seven days. So, um... I guess I need to do that. I've shown y'all how I do it. It's simple. You pour this in, you pour the half and half in, you mix it up. If you want other flavorings, if you want vanilla, you put some of that in. If you want like a pumpkin spice flavor, you put pumpkin spice in it. If you want caramel flavor, you put a little caramel in it. Uh, just You can adapt whatever flavors you want. If you want chocolate in it, put chocolate in it. I have also, which I need to make some more, but I have also used my homemade hot chocolate in my coffee with my creamer. Just a little bit of it. Not enough to make a cup of hot chocolate, but some of it just to give it that chocolate notes or whatever. Um, I have done that before. So you can make your own creamer and it can taste however you want. You just have to play around with it. I leave mine simple and plain, just the half and half and the heavy whipping cream, not heavy whipping cream, the condensed milk. I have also, because I didn't have any half and half, I used heavy whipping cream and milk, which is what half and half is to finish it off. But you know, I mix, you know, half is the heavy whipping cream, half is the milk. So anyways, because half and half. Okay, so I gotta get this washed. I'm gonna let that finish steeping. And I'm gonna make my creamer. And like I said, I'm still doing my coffee. Even with the tea. What was that noise? Y'all might not have heard it. Um, other than clothes today, I don't really know what I'm doing. I know that Jeff had talked about us doing decorating outside before he goes to work but he only has an hour and a half before he goes to work we may not do that today jeff do you know we only have an hour and a half before you go to work it's, so are we going to have time for outside decorations are we going to have out time for outside decorations what you think so i think we should wait We'll see. If we do it, you'll know. Um, I don't think we have time. I don't want to rush. Um, also, we are having... Oh, I can't even think of the name of it now. Homey Chicken and Rice is what it was called. Originally, whenever I first made this dish, I used a recipe that I got from online. But then I changed it a lot. It's pretty much not even the same thing anymore. But that's what's for supper and I'll share that with y'all too. I don't love it. I don't eat it a lot. I don't know. It's just something about it. I just don't. It's, it's not bad. It's just not one of my favorites. But I may eat it today. But Jeff and Noah like it a lot. So that will be happening later. And I think this is steep low enough now. While I was running my mouth. I know it has. Because I've been sitting here talking almost 10 minutes. What's wrong with me? I don't want to bend over for the spoon that's in there. I know there's a spoon in there, but I don't want to do it. This morning, I woke up. In fact, I laid in the bed for like over an hour because I didn't want to move. But I woke up with my back 
biting me today. It's not happy. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I quit taking or quit doing. I know there was a supplement that I said I was going to stop, but I don't think I have yet. I don't think I've ran out of any of them yet. So I don't know what it would be. I don't know. I just know my back is screaming. I'm going to throw this away. I'll be right back. Also, if you didn't know, you can compost that whole entire thing, which I don't have a compost thing right now. Y'all, this one is kind of freaking my brain out because of the smell of it. I don't... We're going to do it anyway. We're going to taste it anyway. Y'all know, I told you, I think I told you in the beginning, if I don't like it, I'm not going to drink it, but I'm, I've been drinking some that I didn't love. I've been drinking them anyway, but this one has got a smell to it that's like, no. <laughs> I don't like that smell. And I wonder, it's, it's got to be the ashwagandha. Because I think I, I don't know. I think I had some with some of the other stuff in it. But I take ashwagandha every day, but it's in like a capsule thing. There's just something about, there was, okay. When I was a kid, there was a cough medicine that my granny made me take. It was triple six, which I said it was the devil's. I said it was Satan's cough medicine. That was the worst taste and stuff. The cough was better than the, the, the cough medicine. Oh, to this day, when I smell it, if I smell a smell but similar to it, I just, like it turned my stomach. I don't want to do it. And this has got a little bit of that going on. So I'm scared. But I'm going to do it. Okay. Mm, I'm going to do it. It's got an unhappy flavor. I don't know. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put some half and half in it. We may have to put some cream in this one. Oh no. I may put some cocoa in it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. That would be gross. That would be worse. sniff it no matter what no matter if I just used it or what I didn't shake it any I just don't know about this one though it's like I don't want to do it I didn't have any dirty dishes when I went to bed but Noah had granola while I was in bed now there's a spoon two spoons now because the one for this this is what it looks like with the, it was just like coffee looking before. The half and half did help it. I'm gonna be a guinea pig, no I'm just joking. I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna drink it, if I can. It doesn't taste terrible, but there's something about it. I think it's that smell that got me. Because it doesn't taste terrible, it's just like, I don't want to have it near my nose. But it doesn't stink. It's just that it triggers that memory of the gross cough medicine some. But it doesn't taste terrible. It's, it doesn't taste like the cough medicine. It needed the half and half though for sure. Because it had a little bite to it. <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to go to the computer today. Because I've been talking to y'all for 15 minutes. 
I'm not going to talk about what, I mean, if y'all want me to, I can talk about it later. I will talk about it on the next video after this one, or not after this one, but after you tell me if you want to know more about it. Or I'll just put links in the description if you want, or on your comment if you want me to uh, link anything. But, um, I don't know. This one is kind of... It's another shroom tea. I don't, it's got like a, a bitter flavor. A bitter something. Anyway, I'm going to quit making ugly faces at y'all and <laughs> make my creamer. It'd been bad if I wanted creamer with it. I wouldn't have had any. Because <laughs> I used it all yesterday. But I'm going to make that and I'll be back. When I'm doing something, I don't know what, but clothes are washing. Okay guys, I have been wanting to try to make this into a crock pot or slow cooker meal for a while. This is a slow cooker, it's not a crock pot brand. I, I, I have this weird thing, and I know everybody calls these crock pots, because I think crock pot was the original brand. But it bothers me when I call something that's not the right thing by another brand. I don't know why. Other people do it all the time and I'm like, okay, whatever. I know what you're talking about. Me? It drives me nuts. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm going to open up my little hobbit door and plug up my slow cooker. <laughs> this is actually the first time since I got this that I'm going to be using it. So hopefully it cooks well. And I'm going to spray this so hopefully nothing sticks as well. This stuff is not spraying properly. And I was holding it up, but it still didn't want to spray properly. Anyway, going to get it sprayed and just let it hang out right there. I'm not even going to turn it on yet because I don't want to turn it on yet. And I've got an onion here that I'm going to or an onion here that I'm going to chop up and I have a bowl over here because normally when I make this I just do it in the pan but since I'm doing it in the crock pot or slow cooker or whatever this device is in this wonderful gadget <laughs> y'all I don't know anyway since I'm doing this I'm going to put it in a bowl first I should probably tell you what I'm doing now, this is my adaptation of homey chicken and rice casserole. I got it from All Recipes. I will try to remember to link it down below. I do believe I have this on my channel already. I don't know for sure. But I'm going to chop this up into small-ish pieces. They're not going to be tiny, but smaller pieces. Uh, let's see. It says a small onion. This is probably a medium onion, but y'all know us. We love some onion around here. Now, like I said, this is not one of my most favorite. Oh, goodness. I'm glad I cleaned the counter. This is not one of my most favorite recipes or meals, but Jeff and Noah really like it a lot. So, if when it's done that I don't want it, I've got some other things that I can do for myself that I can have. Even if it's just a peanut butter sandwich, which actually is really good sometimes to have a peanut butter sandwich. But um, the only vegetables that this actually called for, the original recipe was onion and mushroom. And because it didn't have much vegetable in it, and I wanted to add some more, I decided to add a can of veg oil to it, or mixed vegetables. And that's where I started with the changes. I'm not going to tell y'all every single change, but you know, you'll kind of see it as I go.
Okay, so I have a lot of canned things here. One of the things that with this is you can use canned chicken. Either chicken you do yourself or in a can like this. Um, it tastes better with grilled chicken, but you can use canned. And since I don't have any grilled chicken, I'm using canned. Okay, so got my onion in there. Now I'm gonna put a cup of rice. It's just regular white rice. You use whatever kind of rice that you wanna use. And since I've changed this recipe, I'm gonna tell you what I do, but I'm gonna link the other one, if that makes sense. So I'm not giving you their recipe, I'm giving you my adapt adaptation, adapt, whatever. I can't talk today, y'all. My back is hurting really bad, and I really don't wanna talk about it anymore because I don't wanna be Miss Complainer. But I want you to know sometimes, like, if I'm not talking properly, it's most likely because I'm in pain. If I'm not all there, it's most likely something like that. And I just don't want y'all to think that I'm, I don't know, crazy maybe? <laughs> I promise I'm not on any kind of weird hallucinogens or whatever's. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is keep this cup because I'm gonna use all the liquids out of these canned foods to put into the food because there's nothing wrong with this liquid it the food was cooked in it you're going to eat this food there's nothing wrong with it you don't have to discard it but i need to know how much is here because when cooking rice you need to make sure your ratio is correct and if something happens and i don't have enough liquid for my rice i need to add some water so, or which sometimes I add chicken broth if I have it, but I rarely have it anymore because I use the bouillon. But I'm adding two cans of mushrooms. This is just the mushrooms, pieces, and stems from Aldi. You can um, use fresh mushrooms if you'd like to. It's up to you. Um, portabellas are really good in it. I mean, it is a good dish is just not my favorite thing but mushrooms I probably needed a bigger thing what is this bowl and then I'm gonna add the chicken this is how many ounces is this I gotta see Twelve point five ounces. It's probably like one chicken breast, maybe. It may be a little bit less than that, a little more than that. I don't know. And the only can that doesn't have a pop top today, which I don't care, doesn't bother me. I don't have um, a problem with doing opening my cans. It doesn't bother me to do that. And if I'm not mistaken. This is gonna be almost exactly two cups, which is what I need for one cup of rice. How about that? All right, so this is, oh, I washed the can. Actually, Jeff washed the cans for me. This is the Del Monte mixed vegetables, but it's like dead all. I don't, I'm not brand loyal, y'all know that. So I'm gonna sit this over to the back side over there because now I'm gonna open up this can of cream of chicken and I'm gonna put that in the bowl. and get all the goody I can out with my little silicone spatula. This just seemed to get all of it. I don't even have to add. Y'all, that one did good. It didn't leave any good, any of the goodness behind. All right, so I had had this just in case. Let me rinse it off in that. Okay, so. I got all of that stuff done. Now, the recipe does call for sour cream and milk, but we don't put it in there. Um, we just don't do it because 
they don't want it. And then you're supposed to have a tablespoon of um, like seasoned salt, like Lowry's. It even says Lowry's. But we only put like two thirds of a tablespoon, which is two teaspoons, because we don't want it too salty. Because if you think about it, the chicken has salt in it where it's cooked. I mean, everything that I have here has some sort of salt in it. Plus, I'm going to use some of this bouillon instead of broth. So, that'll add some. I'm only going to use like a heaping teaspoon. That is not part of the recipe, the original. It's just what I'm doing. Alright, so, I'm going to stir this around some. Yep, should have got a bigger bowl. Do my best to not make a mess. It's not that bad. And the chicken will break up some. Right, I'm going to add the liquid. every bit of that and I may get another half a cup just for good measure just to make sure that I have plenty um, because there's like other things in here but I don't know I may not need it so kind of like I don't know all right let me make sure I have everything in here pepper however much you want Y'all know us. We love us some pepper. Um, let's see if I missed anything. No. Not anything that I put in there. I mean, it does call for olive oil for like cooking the stuff, like sauteing the onions and stuff like that, but. I just thought since I was doing the crock pot thing, slow cooker thing, I was not going to do that. Okay, so, um, the last thing that I'm going to do, well, I'm going to put it in the pot here, and then I'm going to cover it with some cheddar cheese. Now, Jeff, before he went to work, shredded this cheese for me so I wouldn't have to stand over here and shred it. Y'all, I want to give him credit for whatever he does because he's been doing extra for me lately. Oh, I got to untie that. And like I said, today is a really bad pain day. It's worse than it's been the whole time. But that's okay. I'm going to be all right. But it is. It's rough today. I'm going to turn this on high. And rice usually takes... <laughs> two and a half to three hours in a slow cooker to cook so I should have plenty of time before Noah gets home for lunch hopefully this is gonna be good I don't know y'all because like I said I've never done it in a slow cooker before get all that in there and I'm thinking that I'm just gonna I should have kept my thingy. These things are good for more than just microwave. I had the cheese covered. I don't know how much cheese he's got here. I think it was like a half a block. Yeah, it was about half a block. I think I'm just going to mix it in this time. I should have... Um, That's a lot of cheese, but really it's not. It's only like four ounces. And it's supposed to be a cup of shredded cheese. Which I know that shredded cheese is more, you know, whenever you're measuring a shredded cheese, it, a cup is less than what do you have a block of cheese. I know that. But, um, let's see if I can mix it some with this little spoon so I don't have to get another one. Just to get it in there some. Hey, it's working, y'all.
if this works it's gonna be awesome I don't have to deal with doing it in a casserole so you know I could put it I could make a freezer meal even that would be awesome do it like a freezer meal and just take it out and throw it in the slow cooker let it cook for a couple hours get out of there cheese we need all of you in the pool all right it does not look very appetizing right now it smells good though it smells like chicken and rice with extra yummy chicken and rice not just you know bland chicken and rice all right so i've got it on and i'll show you what it looks like whenever it's doing is it yep it's warming up all right it is two o'clock now noah's supposed to be home at five two and a half to three hours that should be about right i'm gonna clean up my mess Throw away my cans, and I'll be back at some point, but I'm not sure when. I just don't know yet. Okay, so after two and a half hours, I could see that the rice was not to the point it needed to be. So I took it out of the slow cooker and put it into a nine by 13 pan and put it in the oven because I don't want to take a chance of Noah not having lunch, but this would have worked if I would have had more time. If I would have started sooner, it would have worked. But I didn't think that it would take so long because rice doesn't take that long in the slow cooker by itself. But I guess because everything else was there too, it just took longer. Maybe if I would have had the soups and the liquids warm already it might not have taken so long but it it wasn't going to get done in time so i did do that but the slow cooker method would have worked if i would have given myself more time so i could do this as a freezer meal but i would have to either not put the rice in or have the rice in a separate container than the other things. And what I would have to do is put everything together, which doesn't take long anyway, but it would be awesome to have like everything together and take even less time on some days. But anyway, rice doesn't freeze well I don't know if it's uncooked how it does, but I know that there's been times whenever we have cooked something and we put it in the freezer and it had rice in it and the rice turns into this weird mush grossness. I've never, if you know how to get rice to freeze well, let me know. But I, I couldn't ever get it to work right. All right, I will be back. Noah is home. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I think it is done, but I'm not sure until we dig into it, so. Hopefully it is. If not, then I'm going to put him some in a bowl and microwave it because the rice has to be cooked through. And that's the only thing that wasn't done yet. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this 
how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories Oh oh, la da da oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories like it wasn't all the way done so it had to be microwaved some I did learn something from this I need to have longer time to cook it in the slow cooker but it will work um, after doing further research because I did look and see how long it took to cook rice in the slow cooker I should have had more time because it was a casserole but I wasn't thinking about that Honestly, because of my back hurting, I wasn't thinking about much at all other than getting it done and feeding the people. <laughs> but it's okay. He was still very... Noel was extremely happy with it. He had no problems with it at all. But, um, that, that's just something trial and error, learning things. Uh, and next time, I won't try something new whenever he's going to work. Um, because... I have a time limit <laughs> unless it's something I know will get done in a lot faster time but I won't experiment like that but y'all know I experiment in the kitchen all the time but yeah anyway he was happy though it was fine he ate two plates huge plates <laughs> like the whole plate was covered and um there's leftovers for Jeff to have for work tomorrow night and for him to have tonight whenever he gets home and know to have some more too if he wants it so that is done I have not done the dishes I, what I've been doing, um, is just doing a little bit at a time as my back permits. That's one reason why I'm not recording it is because I'm not doing it all at once like normal. But that's okay too. Um, I don't want to keep harping on my back situation. We all know that I have back issues, spine issues, and this happens sometimes. It has been a very long time since I've had this kind of pain, but that's okay too it is something that just happens to me and i have to just work through it i'm still doing most of my things um and i'm okay with that so with that being said that is all i have for you guys today because i'm gonna go take a hot shower let the hot water just be on my back i may even get the heating pad out and i'm going to edit this video and chill out I may even get my laptop out and edit it on the couch. It's just because the screen is smaller, it takes me longer to edit, but that's okay too. I can get it done either way, 
but I will see you guys again tomorrow. I am so happy that you've been here with me today. I want to thank you so much for always encouraging me and always being there and just being who you are because you're awesome people and you like the guy you guys that talk to me in the comments we're, we've become friends i feel like not just people who watch me on youtube so anyway as i said that's all i have for today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i do truly appreciate it if you like this video go ahead and do all the youtube things if you didn't like it do them anyway because you never know what i'm gonna do I'm also going to be editing one of the planner videos because I haven't done that yet. I don't know if I mentioned it today or not, but if I have, I'm sorry, I mentioned it again. I have two that I have to edit, which I have, one of them comes out on Saturday, one of them Sunday, and today that I'm doing this is on Friday. Is today Friday? Today's Thursday. Is today Thursday? Is today Thursday or Friday? Today is Thursday. Oh boy. So I have a couple of days. <laughs> I have time. Anyway. Um, most importantly, please leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. Um, I know that I've been talking about my back a lot, but that's what's on my mind because that is what is hurting. <laughs> it hurts all the time, but it, it, it's been on, on the scale, you know, they give you, uh, what is it, a scale of, on a scale of one to ten, how is your pain? Sometimes today it's been a seven. And I've taken a muscle relaxer because of it. My doctor gave me Scalaxin, which is a muscle relaxer that it doesn't make you sleepy. It's not like, uh, what's the other one? I can't think of the other one. I know what it is, but I can't think of it. Anyway, it makes, it knocks you out. But anyway, uh, I'm going to say, but anyway, about a million more times and drive myself crazy. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying not to say it. <laughs> took that because I was hurting so bad it didn't do anything so but that is the purpose that my doctor gave them to me for is for this very thing for all my bad days and I have not taken one in a very long time they are still in date but I have not taken one in a very long time it didn't touch it I didn't take any pain medicine I just fight through it maybe I shouldn't be so stubborn Maybe I shouldn't be so stubborn. Oh, and the tea today? Mm-mm. I don't want that one again. The uh, Chaga Ashwagandha. Oh, sorry. Mm-mm. That will be a no for me. Mm-mm. Don't, don't want it. Yeah, Chaga Ashwagandha. It, it, uh, this is gross, but I'm just going to say it anyway. This is the first time it's happened, too. Later on, I burped a little, and I tasted it. Mm -mm. that's not a, that's a no-go for me mm -mm. not again <laughs> let's see so tomorrow's is dandelion coconut we only have one two three four five six seven eight nine more no nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i was like what is that right one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. That's not right. Maybe I'm wrong. Today's the eighth. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're supposed to have sixteen. That's right. So there is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's only twenty three. What? What? Let me get the calendar. Okay, I knew I'd figure it out. Day number 16, which is this one, which we'll talk about it on day number 16. It's not on here. So, um, it's not on here. I mean, it's okay. It's just like, what? I knew that. <laughs> I knew I could count. 
I just didn't know I couldn't count. It's fine. I don't care. I mean, that. see, I, I say I don't care sometimes when I do. It's not that I don't care. It's just that it doesn't really make a difference in my life. It's fine. It doesn't matter. If it hadn't been 24, then whatever. But I was like, what? Because <laughs> I've been going by that some, too, by when I've talked to y'all. But, yeah, tomorrow is day number nine. And tomorrow is dandelion coconut. So, Jeff will definitely not try it because he does not like coconut. Anyway, I couldn't get him to try today's. He was like, uh-uh, that smells too much like yesterday's. <laughs> he didn't even try yesterday's, but he wouldn't try it. And today's was, no, not again. I don't know if it was the ashwagandha or what, but... I don't want that anymore. <laughs> it was okay, and if I had to drink it, I would, but I won't ever buy it. <laughs> so anyway, because of that, I got lost to where I was at. I think I talked about um, me taking the medicine today. And I didn't take the pain medicine and I'm stubborn and all that stuff because I'm very stubborn. I just try to push it out. If I don't have to, I don't. But if it's to the point where I cannot function at all, if it's to the point where I am crying, I take the medicine. Today it was about a level 6-7. Somewhere in there. And I took the one. And it didn't, I, it didn't really do anything. I mean, it... It maybe knocked down the pain to about what it was yesterday, which is probably about a four or five. So, I usually float around a two or three, is what I would think. So, yeah, anyway, that's, that's my numbers, <laughs> and I can count. But I'm going to go and take me a hot shower to try to ease the whatever. Honestly, I don't know if hot showers help, really help. I don't know if it's just a mental thing or if it really does help because my issue is I have bulging discs and um, which with my cervical spine, I had, um, they were bulging at first, but then they were herniated which, from what I understand, may be the same exact thing, but I don't know. Anyway, they were herniated, and I had bone spurs. So, I could end up possibly losing all function in my left arm. Which, I still have some issues every once in a while with my left arm. But, like, it feels different sometimes than my right. But I can do, like, stretch it, and it'll be fine. I don't know. I have thought about... I noticed that Tony from Chaotic Country, she on her uh, cleaning channel, her cleaning channel is called, or it's more than cleaning, it's cleaning and like home improvement and decorating and stuff like that. Like, stuff, it's just stuff like that. And her other channel is more like a vlogging family channel with cooking and stuff like that. It's Chaotic Country, the other one is Tony Lee. Um, but anyway, I noticed that she had an immersion table, or not immersion, is that the right? Is that the right word? Inversion? What is it called? Um, inversion table. See, I, I second guess myself sometimes, and I, I, I really had a good reason that time. But, <laughs> but anyway, I noticed she had one, and I don't know why she has one. I just noticed it in her bedroom when she was putting away clothes. Um, because I noticed things like that. But, if you have one, what's your reason for having it? And if it is for your spine, does it help? Because I have thought about getting one. Because if it will help relieve some pressure and pain, I will do it. I know my mama had one years ago. She still got it, probably. I don't think she ever used it, though. I don't know. Anyways... If you have one, or if you've ever had one and you tried it, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your feelings. Let me know what you, you know, what's going on in your brain about it. If you have never had one, okay. <laughs> but anyway.
anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give you a warm shower. And like I was saying, I don't know if it's actually helping or if it's just a mental thing. But either way, it's enjoyable to stand there for, and I don't stay in there for a long time because I don't want to stand there for a long time. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Thank you for being with me today. And remember, don't take any, did I ask y'all to leave me a comment? I think I did, but if not, do that please. Thank you. <laughs> Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet. <laughs>